Squarespace appointment booking website tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you about Squarespace scheduling. Now this is a pretty amazing website that we can use to make booking a lot easier. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to squarespace.com scheduling. Now once you're over here, as you can see, we can start scheduling by clicking on this button or click on try scheduling first. So let's go ahead and click on try scheduling. So once we do that over here, we'll have to create an account. Now we can create an account by, by continuing with Google or we can continue with email. So let's go ahead and continue with Google. So as you can see, it's starting our scheduling trial. Let's wait a couple of seconds for it to load up. And I think it, it has loaded up. Yep. Okay. So now it's setting up scheduling. Okay. So we have to wait a couple of minutes more. Okay. So now that it's done loading up, as you can see, this is how it looks like. So over here, we have to input our business name and our industry. So let's just go ahead and say that we're a yoga industry, like, like we have yoga clients and stuff like that. So we'll go with, so we'll go with Andy's yoga class and down below, we can put in the industry that we want. Let's go with yoga. So now what we have to do is we have to set up our availability. So these are the times when people are available to pick their appointments with you. So let's just assume that we want Sunday and Saturday. And in Sunday, let's just say that let's just assume that you can make your appointments from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the same goes with Saturday as well. So 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Now over here, what type of services do you offer? So these are the type of services that client can book with you and you'll be able to configure these later on in the settings. So we have appointments. We offer a one-on-one -on -one service like a haircut, consultation, or coaching session, or classes. Offer a group session like yoga classes, seminar, or community event. So let's go ahead and uncheck appointments and go ahead and click on classes. Let's click on next. And over here, set up your first class. Over here, we'll basically enter in the name of our first class, and then we'll enter in the price, and then duration, and then the maximum number of attendees. So let's just say that our first name is so let's just say that our first class is yoga 101 and then down below let's just say that the price for this is just 12 dollars and then the duration is at least 50 minutes and the amount of attendees that we have are eight and once we've done that let's click on continue and over here congratulations our account has been set up and now what we need to do next is let clients book themselves accept payments and sync our calendar so let's go ahead and get started so click on get started now over here as you can see so as you can see over here down below we have our availability and calendar and appointment settings and then over here at the top we have our friendly reminder so now as you can see we have set up our availability we have created appointment types and now we have to go ahead and customize our scheduling but before we do that let's take a look at our calendar settings over here so as you can see over here this is our appointment settings over here from 9 a.m to 11 a.m we that is our classes time and that is when people can make their appointments and then we have override hours for specific days but we haven't added them as well it's the same saturday and sunday in the weekends and if you want you can add a new calendar over here a completely different set of calendar for a completely different client and stuff like that if you want to add them and then we also have on the left side we have rooms and resources so let's go ahead and check them out so over here we can use resources when we have more staff but we're not going to get into that let's just stick to the basics for now so now that we have done our appointments and we've set up our availability let's go ahead and customize our scheduling page so click on customizing scheduling page and over here we have the appearance so we have two templates over here we have the monthly and daily so this is best for client booking more than a week in advance and this is best for when clients always try to find the earliest convenient time so over here let's just keep it like that in daily and then down below we have andy's yoga class we can we can keep that that's good and then we have to upload a logo so let's just go ahead so let's just go ahead and upload a picture of Andy over here. Let's find that picture and over here. 
that is basically it and then down below over here we can write a instructions on here to show our clients before they book their appointments basically give a tip to all the clients like hey the class will only be for 50 minutes be sure to book your appointments an hour before or a day before or whenever you can but don't book your appointments at the last minute because we won't have a lot of people but because we don't have a lot of openings so only a limited number of people can join our class so you can write something like that and then which is optional completely optional you don't have to write that but it's good if you write it and then you have your week starts on sunday time format language your time zone and everything else looks pretty good and we can go ahead and click on save changes and over here on the right side as you can see over here this is going to be our scheduling so we can go ahead and expand the preview so this is how it looks like so there are no appointment types available for scheduling number two we have information and number three we have configuration so we're going to go ahead and close it up so now let's just go ahead and click on save and once we have done that we can now go ahead and sync with our calendar but before we do that we can also schedule page options over here so if we click on over here so as you can see we can show schedule other appointment buttons we can disable reoccurring appointments require phone number we can disable client login registration hide duration hide prices and stuff like that so let's just go ahead and uncheck this one over here and require phone number let's check that and that is basically it click on save changes so now that we have done that we can now go ahead and move on to step number four which is syncing our calendar so when we click on this one we can see that we can sync our calendar with quite a lot of other calendars so we have google calendar we have icloud outlook outlook exchange outlook.com and one way subscription as well for squarespace but we're going to stick with Google Calendar and we're going to click on connect to Google Calendar. And when we do that, we're going to need to sign into our Google account. And once we have signed in, just simply click on allow. And over here, as you can see, our Google Calendar integration is completely one calendar to sync. And down below, we can select the calendar that we can sync. Okay. And then that is basically it. And also, we need to set a reminder that before 15 minutes so that we don't forget or we can even increase it to like 30 minutes 30 minutes before the appointment and click on save and now we can go ahead and customize our emails and text reminders so if we click over here as you can see this is our email over here so we can change the new appointments over here but we can only customize our email templates if we have a paid subscription so if we want to edit our emails then we have to upgrade our subscriptions and then down below we have accept payments and then over here you can connect your stripe account or your square account or your paypal account whichever one you want just simply connect them and then that is basically it and remember guys that squarespace does not take any money from you guys so the total amount of profit so the total amount that you earn from your yoga classes are going to be directly deposited into your account so that is a great thing and once you have done that you're basically done with your scheduling after that you'll just need to find some different clients and book their appointments into your schedule so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye